Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Extracurricular Activities on the last one. Uh, we had to open the windows and now I'm still recording with the windows open and it makes me extremely uncomfortable but we gotta do it because our drip pans are fucking bad and so it's kinda smoky in here right now and I gotta simultaneously play, make sure everything works and make sure that the potatoes my girlfriend are cooking uh, is not doesn't explode while she's gone getting some stuff from her grandma's house. Um, for those keeping track, this is the second time she's had to leave since she got home. So fun. That's also the, my dishwasher in the background making noise. She's cooking dinner, but blah blah blah. Is this the place? Yeah, right here is good. Thank you for the ride again. No problem. But before you leave, can I ask you something? Uh, I mentioned my book signing to you, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, we talked a little about it in the classroom. That's right, I had so much going on, I couldn't remember, I mentioned it to you. Did you happen to mention it to anyone yet? Word of mouth is going to be the best way to let, get people to come by. Uh, truth is, I haven't really talked to anyone. Honestly, haven't yet. That, that's okay. Look in his eye while he was staring, his steering wheel just tugged on my heart. May, let, you just felt like you disappointed him. Don't worry, I'll let people uh, I live around know, so hopefully they can show up and can support you. If you do that for me, that'd be great. The more people that know, the better. I don't, feel, I don't feel like it's going to be a big turnout, but I'm not exactly a well-known author either. Regardless, anyone showing up will be a win for me. Uh, he's really hoping for a crowd to show up, isn't he? I'll do what I can to spread the word for you, coach. Thanks. If you're free to go if you'd like. That's all I wanted to ask. Alright then, I'll, I'll see you in class tomorrow, coach. I'll see you then. Uh, maybe I should have lied? I don't know. Lying to coach really just doesn't seem like a great idea. Waited for the coach to drive out before you're heading down off the street to your home. I feel pretty exhausted right now. It's been a pretty busy day, and I've gotten a lot of work done. I have no homework or anything to do, so my day is pretty much done. I've read that all I can so far. What the fuck does that mean? I've read all I can so far. Ugh. Man, I'm so for practice yesterday. Trying out a new serve and working on all those new swings really take a toll on me, but it'll be worth it. I'm going to make coach proud of me. Now it's time to get ready for school and head off now. On time, and I still have about 15 minutes before I have to be in class. Hey, Thomas. Oh, hey, Thomas. Don't want to forget Darius' voice. Hey, Darius, heading to class also? Yeah, I just got them here myself. We still have a little time left before class gets started, though. And it's always good to be early, right? Anyway, you see, are you ready for the big game tomorrow? I guess so. I feel like we could use some more practice, but I guess these games are just practice too. And besides, Coach seemed pretty pretty focused on you more than anyone else on the team right now. What do you mean? Darius grinned and nudged you with his elbow. Come on, don't act like you didn't notice. I saw he was helping you around with uh, his arms around you. He was just correcting my stance, is all. And that big bear hug, you do that? Just you let you think. Not to mention he's giving you rides home after practice. Is there something going on there? What? No! Nothing like that. He's just dropping me off near my house. Or else I'd have to take the bus. There's nothing going on between us. <laughs> hey, you see your face right now? You're so flustered you can't even speak straight. No, oh, that's just me. That's how I fucking talk, man. I can't talk worth a shit. Well, don't worry. I won't say nothing to nobody. Even if nothing is going on between the two of you, I can clearly see you're interested in how you're acting. And who knows, maybe he's interested as well. Well, let's head off to class, shall we? What the fuck? You don't talk about your teachers and shit like that. Damn, Darius, this is a pervert. You can see right through me in these situations. If it is, even if I was interested in the coast, there's no way he's gay. All right, everyone, take your seats and we'll begin today's lecture. Oh, with a suit and t with a shirt and tie and everything. Getting a lot of different kinds of outfits for the coach. We'll be covering your next reading assignment after I pass out your papers when the assignment you all turned it on Tuesday. I thought you didn't read the assignment material and thought you'd get by it by using other means. That's not how things work in my class. If you read the material, you'll score high. If you don't, then you won't. Good job, Thomas. I know someone read it, at least. Oh, great. Singling me out. Making me feel like, oh, he's the teacher's pet. God damn it. Coach looked at you with a smile and a nod and when he walked by, since he already gave you a paper bag. And when he did, Darius happened to be looking your way, raised his eyebrows with a grin. He's like, hmm. Darius isn't going to let this go anytime soon. Now that everyone's out their paper bags, let's spend a few minutes reading over the notes I left you, and we'll get a better idea of what you'll be doing for the next assignment. After that, I'll talk about some of the key things people missed, and we'll move on from there. Got it? After a few minutes, Coach Grifter had, had everyone put their papers aside and listened to what he had to say. 
I remember the class was spent with him discussing how to analyze the book, draw key points to it, and write a better essay. You were distracted, though. Well, what Darius had said to you was playing over and over in your head and while you were doing nothing about daydreaming through the class. Now, for those of you who uh, have calculus after this class, it's been canceled again today. With that, you're all dismissed for the day. Be sure to read chapters 1 through 5 before class Monday, and you'll be having a quiz on it. You get up to leave, and as you do, the coach stops you. Hey, Thomas, what's up, coach? Are you feeling all right? Seems like you were spaced out during the class. I'm um, fine. Just a lot of things on my mind is all. Don't worry, I'll listen to what you had to say, and I'll make sure to get my reading done. I'm sure you'll do fine with it. Anyway, since your next class is canceled, and I have no other classes uh, for a while longer, I was thinking about going to the gym and wanted to see if you could go along also. Get a good workout in before the game tomorrow. How about it? I mean, sure, might as well. I mean, you're not giving me a whole lot of time to talk to other people about your fucking book signing, but, you know, whatever. Sure. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. I get my tennis clothes with me so I can change in the locker room. Make sure the potatoes aren't going to shit. I think we're good. All right, then, let's get going. I got my shorts and muscle shirt on under this, so I'll be good to go. As you walk with the coach, he continues talking about the class and how irritated he is with the lack of effort being put in by the students. He's passionate about what he does, but he doesn't like this, those under him slacking off. And it drives him to be tough on everyone so they all succeed. You hesitated about changing as coach began to unbutton his shirt. You, he, you knew he said he was wearing his gym clothes underneath, but you still watched him. Still watched him. He was oblivious to your staring as he kept talking to you while pulling off his outer clothing, and he changed a bit before he even started. You're staring off into space again, and you haven't even started to change. Maybe this gym isn't something you need to do today. Oh, sorry, I'll be fine once we get started. It'll be easier for me to focus. If you say so, get your clothes changed and meet me out in the gym. I'll be waiting for you there. Oh, I really need to keep my head out of the clouds and focus. Coach is going to be suspecting something and something's wrong if I don't straighten up. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be straightened up all right. <laughs> I can't see the potatoes from here. I don't want to stand up. All right, that's better. Let's get to work. Is there anything particularly you feel like you should work on while you're in here today? Um... Maybe strength, I guess. I mean, it sounds like I'm a technical player, so strength wouldn't be too bad, but stamina would also help. I don't fucking know. I still think I need to do some strength training. I don't think my shots have enough power behind them at times. Power isn't everything, you know. Look at Chester, for example. He's got raw power, but he has no control over everything. I have control, and you know that. That's true. And you got good ball control. So I guess putting some extra strength behind your shots isn't a bad idea. Off to the weights, then. We won't do a lot of heavy lifting today, since we don't want to want you sore for tomorrow. At least I don't want you doing heavy lifting. Me, though, I've got some, some of the, I've got to keep these muscles pumped. We'll just keep it light to get you energized for it. You want to add strength to your shots, so we'll do some workouts that focus on your arm and upper body strength. Stretch, and I'll get those weights ready for the bench press. That'll help train some of those areas. Got it. You begin your stretches while the coach started sliding weights on the off the. <sighs> you begin your stretches while the coach sli started sliding weights off the bench press, swapping out the massive weights already on it for smaller ones. Once he was ready, he motioned for you to lay down on the bench. All right, you should be good to go. Give it a test to make sure it's not too much first. <sighs> yeah, it should be fine. I can do more, but it's best not to push myself too much today. That's why I didn't put more on here. Go ahead and just do ten reps. And we'll do a few sets of that. I'll spot it for you and go ahead and swap up. Coach loomed over you while helping you lower the bar down and rest in point, watching you closely. You couldn't see much of him over his stomach, nearly hanging over your head. Doing fine so far. Well, you seem to be having an easier time than I'd expect with these. Your arms are looking good, but you have some ways to go before they look as good as mine. He chuckled and helped you get return the bar back to home, but you know, despite these guns, the ladies aren't going to be too interested in me if I don't get rid of this fat gut. With another laugh, he patted his stomach and shook it up and down. Now might be a good time to feed his ego a bit. Uh, what's the harm going to be in trying to keep him happy? You know, coach, that's not everything. The, th the thickness looks good on you, and you carry the weight well. Not to mention you're a good guy, so I'm sure someone will fall for you regardless. Hey, <laughs> you think so? Coach seemed a little embarrassed from the compliment, but he seemed to be in high spirits. That's good. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, and I don't like running, and I like food, so I'll stay there for a long, 
For a while longer, at least. The remainder of the session you spent spotted Coach's workout instead of actually lifting weights yourself. He insisted that you not do anything to strain yourself for the next day. But to give you a good chance to sit back and really admire the muscles on his arms as they worked. Man, I'm feeling the burn today. Check these guys out. Shabam, shabam, bam, boom. <laughs> Coach raised his arms up and flexed them both for you. His muscles visibly having expanded after the workout. Uh, yeah, they look really, really thick right now. I think that's good enough for today. I need to hurry and get showered before the next class, since I'm covered in sweat. Do you mind res resetting the machine while I go shower? Sure, I'll take care of that. Thanks. It was a good session day. Well, I have to do it again. I guess I'll do this and head back to the locker to change back into my other clothes. Shouldn't take me more than a few minutes to do so. As you entered the locker room, you noticed the coach wasn't around, but you could hear the showers running from the next room over. And as this moment is coming up, I have a feeling I need to close those windows real quick, so I'm going to do that. Coach must be in the shower right now. He did say he was covered in sweat and has to go back to class. You changed back into your clothes, deciding you would shower once you got back home. Before you leave, you know, curiosity began to consume you. Well, uh, the... Oh, there's a locker. Is that his locker that's open? Let's see. You opened the locker and peeked inside. Right away you could tell it was the coach's locker after seeing the racket and a couple of balls inside. You even found the clothes he was practicing in and teaching his clothes hanging neatly inside. Oh, this is his too. That would be a uh, jock strap, I believe. Yeah, I didn't think he'd wear uh, these to class. It's layered here on top of his shorts. This entire locker smells musky too. He's No wonder he's off taking a shower. Better not mess with anything else unless otherwise coach might notice. It's an arousing thought knowing he wears such uh, one of these, though. Could explain why things bulge out so much. Good lord. Didn't think they would start with this, but alright, let's... Coach might be in there. What if I just take just a peek? Well, as my philosophy in these games, if you avoid the plot, you won't be able to experience the game, so... Take a peek. Oh god. Again, I'm surprised that they would start with this one. You'd think they wouldn't start with such a uh, such a kink. You push the door leading to the shower open and take a quick glance inside. There was a handful of people scattered throughout the stalls in the shower. So it might be odd if you tried to find a coach to talk to him. There's too many people here right now. It's best if I leave. Maybe I'll get lucky another day. You headed back to the locker room and grabbed your belongings before heading home for the day. Damn. Well, at least I was prepared. I didn't want there to just be naked coach happening <laughs> with the door. Hey. No more. No more going out? No more outside. Please don't go. No more. No <laughs> 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 Alright, we're doing a taste test in the middle of this episode. Uh, we got these nice peanut clusters. Milk chocolate. I have never had peanut clusters before. So, we will find out what the, see if they're really all that nice. Say milk chocolate. They look good. Smell good. Tastes pretty good. It's just chocolate and peanut. Yeah, exactly. Wallace combination. What the fuck? Don't you be hogging all that shit over That's here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, it's about time for a pregame meeting to start, and Coach is the only person who isn't here yet. I wonder where he's at. You yeah, know, I'm not the only one that's running late today. This is really unusual. Have you seen a coach at all today? Saw me not long ago, too, out and who went to the lockers to change. Back in a few minutes. And then in the meantime, you mentioned how he was getting to the courts for carpooling. Coach and Spencer are driving, so we're splitting between the two. That's a great idea. I hadn't really thought about what we were doing until just now. And it looks like Coach is here now. Good to see everyone is here. Sorry about being a little behind, but I was changing clothes before we had to head out. Hope you guys are pumped and ready to play today. Remember, these are just practice matches, so use the time uh, to practice some of the shots we've been working on lately. With that said, is there any information you guys wanted me to go over before we left? The courts are clay, and the opponent I know, so nothing. I expect you all to give it your best. We've already determined who's driving to the court, so let's group up and head that way. Thomas, who are you riding with? Probably the coach. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course, I don't mind. You can ride with me, and the others can ride with Spencer. I can take Chester. Uh, I don't remember what Chester's voice was. I can take Chester too. I think uh, more room than just Thomas. Uh, yeah, I guess he can ride with us too. 
because it would be cruel to put you together with everyone else. But uh, you can ride in the back seat. Oh, come on, coach. <laughs> no complaining. Now we have it all settled, let's head out. I know the way, so you can follow me if you want, Spencer. Let's go, everyone. Despite Chester's protests, you ride up front with the coach, leaving the bull hunched over in the back seat. It didn't seem like Coach Grifter was going to have it any other way, no matter what to what Chester said. It's not like you minded, though, sitting up front next to the coach. His eyes were focused on the road, so your eyes were spent wandering up and down him. Chester, you wouldn't be cooped up back there for too long. It's only about 20 minutes to Elton Ranch. I don't know why you put me... I don't know why you wouldn't let me ride up front. Thomas isn't as tall as I am. I really didn't mind riding in the back. Nonsense! You were the one that volunteered to ride with me first. Only because you asked them first. You'll be fine, Chester. Coach patted your leg with a nervous laugh right after. You ready to play today? You've been doing good at practice. Uh, yeah. I've been getting pumped about it. You really have helped... To you really, you've been really helpful at practice lately, and it's benefiting me a lot. Wait, really? Well, I'm glad to hear it then. You're gonna do great today for sure, I'm sure. Get a room already. <laughs> Get a room already. <laughs> I mean, it's Friday, and I haven't told anyone. I haven't, it hasn't given me the option to tell anyone about the book signing yet. I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't want to let the coach down. Oh, no. He snorted and glanced over at the coach, his eyes wide and his face showing nothing but embarrassment as he kept his focus straight ahead. I'm gonna make a joke. Jokes always lighten the mood. Unless you suck at them. Maybe we will, Chester, <laughs> right, coach? You follow that sentence up with a laugh, garnering another nervous laugh from the coach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure we will. Oh, whatever. <laughs> After that, the remainder of the trip was filled with an awkward silence. Yeah, that wasn't a good joke. <laughs> When you arrived at the courts, Chester waited no time, jumping out of the car with a loud groan as he stretched. Coach continued. To... Good lord. Coach continued to stare forward with his hands clasped around the steering wheel. Coach, everything all right? You speaking to him? Snapped out of the daze he was in, and he smiled at you. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's get everyone set up now. It's time we start playing. Everyone is here from both teams, so let's we'll start pairing you up, guys, up with your opponents. Spencer, you're on court one. Dozer, you're on court two. Darius, three. Thomas, you'll be on court four. And Chester will be on five. You'll be the best of three sets and five games per set. Remember the guys uh, we talked about in my room in the courts, guys. You know you'll do fine. Uh, keep in mind, it's practice. Have fun while you're playing, too, all right? All right, time to play. Let's see. I said I'm on court four. There's already someone there. That must be my opponent. The shorter feline was sitting at the bench on your court, so you approached him with your hand outstretched. You must be who I'm playing against today from uh, Pitchford Heights. I'm Thomas. Yeah, yeah, let's start warming up, shall we? Uh, sure, let's start. He trotted away from you with another, without another word and readied himself on the other side of the court. Before you motioned you were ready, he already had hit a ball to you, catching you off guard and causing you to hit the ball into the net. With a forward brow, you ready to with the next ball, already getting ready to uh, start on a rally this time. Okay, so coach told me that this guy was a tricky player, and it seems his first game... It seems his first game is to get under my skin. You stay relaxed, and you remember all the stuff, and you'll do fine. Right now, he's just warming up. But, uh, <clears throat> so what did he say to do at this time? He said to study your opponent. So to study your opponent, ah, it is making me remember stuff. Fuck. So to study your opponent while watching your play style while you warmed up, that way I'll have a better idea of what to expect. I can't just reveal. I can't. I just can't reveal how I play to him yet. So I'll have an upper hand. While warming up, you consistently hit the ball back to him with just normal forehand and backhand shots. Your opponent, on the other hand, was slicing the ball to you at every chance he got, showing how. Uh, just how he prepared for making a drop shot every time. So far, your plans from people were working how you wanted. After rallying for ten minutes, he held up his hand to signal for you to stop. If you're ready to start, I'm going to go as well. If you're ready to start, I'm going to go as well. All right, let's. Uh, who takes the first serve? You take it. So let's get started. With a shrug, you gather a couple balls and head back to the serve serving line. All right, you can do this. Just take a deep breath and concentrate. You threw the ball in the air and keep in mind how to serve the coach taught you during practice. Raise your racket up, and instead of bringing it straight down like you normally would, you're going to have to angle it. His words uh, came through clearly as you did exactly as he said, and as he allowed you to serve, the ball went speeding over the net. As it hit the ground, it jumped out wide and stayed low. 
Cat didn't seem to be ready for such a powerful first serve and was able to get the close ball. Dating Deer aced your first serve. Awesome! Couldn't help but grin with the first, uh, you couldn't help but grin your, to yourself upon seeing the dumbfounded look in your opponent's face. You'd be ready for it next time, so you better be pre prepared for your game to get started. As the game progressed, you and your adversary appeared to be evenly matched, both of you winning game after game, moving into tiebreakers. You had both won a set and were pressing into the final games of the match. With a constant drop in spin shots on your coming your way, you had stayed out in the middle of the court to cut down on your run distance. You weren't giving the ball any time to touch the court, and you pushed your opponent back to the service line with a constant pressure on him. Knowing he's so far back, you decided to... What is it called when you, uh, uh, hit it close? The guy is far back. The, th the options are cut the ball, slice the ball, or spike the ball. Spike is when you go whoosh. I know that's how it is in volleyball, so I guess I'll try that. Spike the ball! Continue hitting the ball to him, waiting for his chance to really power the ball, rally, power the ball back at him. His chance to finally arrive, so you raise your racket up and spike the ball at him. You ended putting... Too much force behind it, though, and the ball bounced outside the court. Oh, right. shit. You, you led me astray, ending the point in the opponent's favor. Damn it! Irritated with yourself, you prepared for the next point to begin. The next few rallies were crucial. Just a few points away, and you'd be winning the game. You kept thinking about uh, everything you'd gone through over the past couple of practices, and you used every shot to your advantage. As you get ready to throw up your next serve, you notice coach was standing uh, on, against the fence watching you. Advantage server, first serve! Once more, you pictured him in your mind, showing you the kick serve you had spent so much time practicing. Grrgra! With a powerful swing of your racket, the ball zipped over the net, landing in the corner of the service box. It jumped in with such a kick that even your, uh, even though your opponent was ready for it, it clipped the head of his racket, scoring you the match-winning point! Yay! Della boy, that's how you do it! <laughs> you kept your cool and excitement bottled up as you went to meet your opponent at the net for another handshake. But were once again met with nothing, as he had already left the court. Shrugging, you hustled off the court to meet with the coach who was waiting for you with your bottle of water. Like that last serve, coach? Like it! It was fantastic! You did it just as good as I thought you would do out there. As you left, uh, as you walked off with the coach, he gave you a butt a pat with a hearty laugh, making you blush. That's a sports thing, but still, given the connotations of this game, that might not mean exactly what it seems to me. Not everyone. I love a friendly butt Yeah, but it depends on who it comes from. That's true. Everyone did, uh, has done great too. Spencer won his match, and so did Dozer. Mm -hmm. Jester and Darius are still playing. They should be done soon. Let's go watch them until they're done. After the other, other matches had ended, it turned out it was a clean sweep, and everyone had won their matches. Fuck yeah! Preparation makes perfect. Coach was so impressed with how everyone did, he decided to take everyone out for well-deserved dinner. His treat. Sweet. Great job for, to everyone for playing so damn great today. You all won, and I'm proud of you all. Your main meal is on me tonight. Let's celebrate a great way to begin the session. Uh, season, I believe it said. Uh, even though it was a great just practice match, this coach is really excited and happy to see everyone won today. And the team is pretty pumped about it, too. Everyone is happy, chatting, and getting along great. Even Darius and Spencer are carrying on normal conversations. Coach sat down in his chair beside you and gave you a pat on your shoulder. Honestly, I think I spent more time watching your game than anyone else's. Believe it or not, you were playing their number one player. What, really? Why was I playing against him? Well, I had a lot of confidence in you. And the other coach and I decided we want our number two players playing against uh, the other team's number one. Unfortunately, it backfired for the other coach. Spencer kind of trashed the other guy, and you beat their number one. Huh, you're right about that. Explains why I had such an easy time. No big deal, though, since Thomas won, uh, it means I would have won, too. <laughs> yep, it's time to celebrate, though, so let's order up some food. That's nice. Thank you, Spencer. Son of a bitch. Hours went by after everyone ate and had conversed with each other. Eventually, Coach decided he needed to cut out since he had plans for the following morning. Spencer offered to take uh, Chester with him so Coach could just drop you off at his, at his place and head straight home. That's weird, since you were on his way. Oh, okay. You arrived at the same point. Coach always drops you off, and he pulled his car into park. Just want to say it again. I'm proud of you how you did today. Thomas, you really seem to te uh, take to heart what I showed you this week. 
Couldn't have done without your help, Coach, but thanks for it. I'm happy to hear it. Made your heart swell to hear someone say that they were proud of you since it had been so long since anyone spoke those words. Oh yeah, and before you go, you're coming by the book signing tomorrow for my signing, yeah? Yep, I'll be there. Which time can I come by? I'll be there between 10 and 2, so you can stop any time. Alright, sounds like a plan then. Good night, Coach. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. See you then. While the coach gone, you headed back to the shelter to call it a night. You didn't tell anyone about the signing! No one's gonna show up! Oh, God! And with that crisis impending, I'll see you all on the next episode of Extracurricular Activities. On uh, the next one, we'll see how, how how many people actually showed up to this fucking thing. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I've been the trained up professional. Speaking for the voices in my head when I say, until next time, fare thee well. Bye, everyone! Yeah, 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 I say.